Warriors are being handed an uneven assortment of adjustments. It's not a fantastic day to be a hammer wielder, and control warriors are not going to be allowed to get away with only 10 points in arms. Four warrior skills are under fire, the first of which is Combustive Shot. The physical damage caused by the skill will no longer be dependent on adrenaline levels. The time between each pulse is being increased to 3 seconds, and the total number of pulses at each level of adrenaline is falling by 1. Overall, this means that the physical damage dealt will be reduced by 15%, but 2 seconds extra burning compensate for that to some degree. The increased pulse duration will make Combustive Shot less likely to affect foes more than once, but each pulse will be more effective, so the net result of the rework is that nothing has really changed. Earthshaker and Staggering Blow fall to the nerf bat. 20% and 23% of their total damage are vanishing respectively. In the words of ArenaNet, we don't mind warriors doing massive damage, or great area of effect control, but we're trying to prevent them from easily doing both. Lastly, Skullcrack's cast time is being doubled to half a second, a welcome change for anyone who doesn't have the lightning reflexes needed to avoid a highly unpleasant 3 second stun in a quarter of a second. Skullcrack's animation is apparently becoming more noticeable, making it a little bit easier to react to in addition to the activation time. Moving on to warrior traits. To further upset Hammer Warriors in their current form, unsuspecting foe and crack shot of the arms line are being swapped around, unfortunately making control warriors decide between defense or burst mastery in order to retain almost guaranteed criticals versus incapacitated targets. In an attempt to soften this blow, burst mastery's bonus damage will become 7% down from 10%. It will remain an excellent trait, and the 3% reduction is not a reason to be repelled from investing 30 points in discipline. However, Grandmaster Defense may encourage warriors to become just that. Spiked Armor's cooldown is plummeting to 10 seconds from 15, allowing it to feasibly maintain more than 50% retaliation uptime. Combining this with a doubled toughness to power conversion of armored attack, the Grandmaster Defense traits are becoming considerably more lucrative than they are now. The revival capabilities of tactical warriors are to be enhanced. Reviver's Might is to grant three stacks of might to all nearby allies upon a successful revive, Perhaps a new method of might stacking will arise, players suiciding and then being revived by 9 tactics warriors simultaneously, only time will tell. Thrill of the kill's power is growing tenfold, and will grant a whole tier of adrenaline upon slaying an opponent. Its current state is so weak it's probably not unreasonable to assume that altering its effect from restoring 1 strike to 10 strikes of adrenaline is actually just the rectification of a typo. Even with its newfound power, it's a solution to a problem that doesn't exist, and probably won't get used anyway. The penultimate changes to Warriors are to Strength. Reckless Dodge's effect is swelling by a mighty 25%. Tickling people to an early grave has never been better. Great Fortitude will convert an extra 2% of power to Vitality, improving an already decent trait, but its usage will probably come down to personal preference, as Strength has an excellent collection of relatively equal adept traits. Last of all, and appropriately so, comes Last Chance. Its health threshold is doubling to 50%, and its recharge is diminishing to 40 seconds from 45. Like all traits undergoing similar changes, this buff of sorts is a double-edged blade in PvP. It will facilitate a second wind of sorts after an initial burst, but won't act as a surprise execute or finisher. In PvE, the situation is much clearer. Last chance is about 2.22 times better, active for twice the health window with an 11% lowered cooldown. Minor inconveniences abound for the warriors amongst us. Perhaps you can cheer yourself up by mocking the misfortune of some other professions.